This path leads to the cut. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible <laughs> lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Stocking up. Outlander on the mountain! Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. You'll be warm enough up here, Nora. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. Trust a rare, they say. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that Half smoke. Our hunter's dead. A horrible price to pay, and so little to show for it. She will return. You must believe she will return. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. 
All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. you think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look. I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. 
But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banute to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then, you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me more How about do I keep uh, doing this? Drama. Might be worth a shot. Frozen tall neck. Perhaps the most I do not want to on. hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? Aurea knows about this, Daemon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. In the old days, the mad sun king. You seem sad, stranger. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Wait a moment. Follow the river north. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. We'll keep them together. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see you straight.
Outlanders. I get up. Carge Outlanders. Same as always. Kompadish once again leads the Hunter's Lodge. Good night. Bergen said Array is apprentice but north of the river. Hopefully not too far. There must be Naltuk, looking out of that. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, are they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Alright, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait! Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. <laughs> And when I'm done, you're going to tell me where she is.
You are quite the warrior. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path.
Must be the entrance to the stem. Somebody wanted him. Really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the den? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Are you all right? <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... 
cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Of course, no way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honor? You know, I'm reminded of Delvin to push that to the plane. So no, I'll do my own. You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There! You should be able to lower the gate! Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again! Ought to lock this thing in place! One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. You can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Get up there. Let me look around. Nice. So Jump. <laughs> oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, huh? you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve! It's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken?
Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. But uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I can't jump straight to the counterweight from here. I'm gonna take my mind. Get about it. To go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. Still a bit of water, but not enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim, though. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! It's dead. <laughs> so, the uh, ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but... Never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils! We drained enough water for what we need to do, but... I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes. Valves. All right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but... This looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. <laughs> You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. Something's not right. Demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. Looks 
like I'm on the right track. The water's flowing, just it needs to. Been at this a while, girl. No room to judge, mine. I won't spend half a day flummoxed by a card or puzzle box. <laughs> Step closer. There, that should do it. We should have a look. Let's see if that's what you're Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? Smells like a forge side Looks morning like in the claim. Ever. I should head back up the building. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects. The lock positions. Helpful. Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? I can't believe that worked! I thought you'd lost your mind, tickling the empty air like that. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I... I'm so sure. Looking glass? My... My old mom found one for me when I was... It was one of the last things she... I was sure I saw it. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. Must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve! Not the treasure. 
And what a delve it was! Ugh. By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Uh. Uh. There's no question and going by that sound, I think Lala is already at the den. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these types like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their souls. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. 